Sun's beating down outside. Slightly hazy day, but uh, glorious. Haven't seen a drop of rain in the month that we've been here. It's been really, really nice weather. Can't complain at all. And that's the glorious Impact Arena where we're staging our continuing badminton coverage here of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals on today three, the last group of day of group matches. One men's doubles confirmed already. Choi and Seo of Korea through 21-16 in that uh, deciding game. And uh, on to a Thai pairing who have been very much in form over the last couple of weeks. Kitty Halikun and Prajong Jai take on the Germans. Linda Effler and Isabel Hertwig to basically come second in the group on the assumption that Kim and Kong on the adjacent court on Group B come through. So we're on the right side of that graphic there, taking a look at uh, the second and the fourth pairing have a matchup. And it is indeed their first ever showing against the Germans, the Thais. Kim and Kong taking on Birch and Smith as we speak. 10-8 in that opening game in favour of the Kim and Kong, who of course are seeded second. The Thais and the Germans unseeded in the group. And, uh, Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith seeded fourth. So plenty to unfold in Group B, women's doubles. Who knows? I think it's uh, interesting and it's important to point out that um, the seedings here at the uh, World Tour Finals is based on the qualification and not on the world ranking. And that's why the English pair, on Chloe one Smith one. and Women's Lauren, uh, sorry, Chloe, Chloe Birch and Lauren Don't Smith, um, seeded four here because they qualified as number four on that list. Here they come. Versus. John Corfan. Kitty Halligan out Effler first, followed by Rowinda Prajongjai. Off a, a ranking of 11 in the world. They've been as high as sixth in the world back Italy. in July 2018. And here's uh, Isabel Hertwig leading the way, followed by uh, the taller of the two, Linda Effler. Off their career high ranking of 31. It's going to be interesting, Morton, because you rightly say there's a little bit of a gulf between the top ten women's doubles and the rest, isn't there? And it, it could be, well, interesting to see whether the Germans overall, their sort of time in Bangkok and experience on the match court, have managed to sort of just sort of close that gap a little bit. They played well in the match we brought you on I will day one of the group stages. Red Let's or listen. black, like your shirts. Perfect. It's red, your choice. That side, serve, receive. Who is serving? Linda and receiving? You? OK. Lovely, clear umpiring from Fabio Beto, despite the muffle of the mask. The Italian doing a great job there. So Kitty Hannigan electing the far side. And the warm up begins. First meeting between these two teams. So we take a look at John Kulfan Kitty Harakan, 27 years old, 1 meter 70. World number 11 with her partner has been as high as six in the world. In July 2018, that was from Chiang Mai. Well, they're absolutely used to this venue by now. And that will make for good badminton, you'd imagine. 27 years old Rawinda Prajongjai. A little bit smaller in terms of height, but uh, Bangkok born and bred. The partnership was formed all the way back in November 2013 between these two players, which is uh, quite an uh, established pair by now. And that's... Uh, how they went on. They had a win in straight games over Birch and Smith, but a loss in straights in 49 minutes to Kim and Kong. So they need to win today to get through to the semi-finals. It's as simple as that. And should they do so and Kim and Kong also win, then they'll come second in the group. And uh, taking a look at Linda Effler, 1 meter 78, the 26 year old from Enstetten in Germany. 
resides in uh, Mulheim and Dorur. As does Isabel Hertrick these days as well. Two years older at 28. Hersbrook born. Ready to play. 12 centimeters shorter than her partner. But they are twin nicely together, these two. She's also a very good mixed doubles player. So they went down on the opening day to Kim and Kong, having taken that second game. And uh, very similar scoreline to Birch and Smith as well. So a couple of losses for the Germans, but tight matches. But at the end of the day, that's all very well. But it's the W you're after. Fabio Beto. Italian, a man of style. And uh, Bert van Hollenbeek, the Belgian service judge. So our players are nearing ready. Action from women's doubles, Group B. Expectancy on the shoulders of the team in red at the top of your picture. The tie is far higher in the world ranking list. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, John Colpan, Kiki Tarakur, and Rawinda Prajondai, Thailand. And on my left, Linda Effler and Isabel Erfi, Germany. Linda Effler, who served to John Colpan, Kiki Tarakur, Lavo, Blake. I must say, I will be surprised Thank if uh, Kitty Harakun and Prajong Jai are not able to play a very steady, safe game against these two players from uh, Germany and then uh, win in, in a comfortable style. The, the gap one. on the world ranking from uh, presently 11 for the Thailand pair and 31 for the German pair. Th that's a big gap on the world ranking in terms of women's doubles. But as you said, Paul, perhaps the, the German pair has uh, learned something over the past uh, two, two and a half weeks. That's a wonderful block shot from Hertrich. Bus defences from the Germans, yeah, and they've uh, in both their group matches, as I say, they they've taken their opponents the distance, you know, both three game affairs, and also it's their second showing against Kim and Kong, so they'll have taken a lot of experience from that as well. And well, will it reflect in in, in an upset here? Quite frankly, we doubt it, but you know, stranger things have happened, and uh, it's pro sport. Long rally that one, 54 shots. Challenge or yeah, yeah it's a challenge. Well, I, yeah. I think it's a good challenge as well. Actually. Me too. I think Me this too. might have found its mark. Uh, the Lions judge was rather hasty to get his arm split. No, I don't think he had a good look at this one. Call out. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Found the line. Correction in. Never it's easy, over. is it, from there, you know, for anybody. Three. The human eye can only do so much, but that one's yeah. just kissing the edge. Three, two. Yeah, the umpire saying to Ifla that uh, 
wait for the umpire to to make the call before you actually do the celebration in other words please don't influ don't influence uh, the line judge that's why awareness from Rowinda. Good flick serve from uh, Kitty Harakun. Well spotted by Prajunga. Playing the clear. Oh, that was a little bit unusual, I would say, from her trick. She played a good shot, um, got a fairly weak reply, but did not intercept the next one and left it for partner Ifla. This one here, she actually had a chance to go for it. I think that caught Linda by surprise, didn't it? It did. Tight defense from the team in red. Seven, two. Ah. Hi. Hi. And that's short. So, three, seven. so the German pair is making their first appearance here at the World Tour Finals where their opponents, Kiri Harakun and Prajong Jai, they uh, lost the group stage both in 2018 and 2019. So they are desperate to progress to the semi-final and I would say it's, it's looking pretty good already for the uh, Thailand pair. Service over, eight, three. Now won six out of the last seven points, the ties, so starting to get a commanding grip on this opening game. But in all honesty, when we saw the draw, of uh, the women's doubles. I think we must admit that uh, the two Korean pairs and uh, Puli Rahayu and then Kitty Harakun and Prajong Jai, those four pairs were kind of hot, hot favorites to get through to tomorrow's semi-finals. Yes, and, it, and it's definitely looking that way. Nine, four. Excellent block from Isabel Hertwig. Yeah, mixed double skills. Yeah, she's using that shot a lot in her mixed doubles. The this very short block shot, and uh, is doing her many many good favors in the mixed and here as well in the 
women's doubles. A little bit of a trademark uh, in her game. Incidentally, there was a stalling over on court two, and our eyes momentarily gazed over there, didn't we, Morton? We were looking because um, one of the Koreans had a shoe off, and the doctor was attending her, and we're not entirely sure what it was. Did you glean anything? Um, I, I possibly think it's a blister. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but it was to it came so young. Yeah, and you know, but she with that, it might have upset the dynamic of the group a little. But they are a game up against Birch and Smith. Uh, I, it doesn't look like they uh, impeded, you know, all, affected no. by it. So uh, let's see. So persistent, so patience with the way the, the way that they build their attacks. Not the most powerful team, Morton, but uh, effective in so many other ways. Light. Yeah, that looked long on the back line. Call out. So it is the ties that uh, break to the front with a Five point cushion, 11 points to six after nine minutes. Good serve from Prajong Jai. Just uh, dipping below the tape at the right time. And Hertrich had to play an upward shot. Did not make it easy for her. Good start for the Thailand pair after the mid-game interval. Uh, well spotted this time from Third. Kitty Harakun. Oh, that's good interception there from Prajongjai. Awesome play. Really well spotted. Good anticipation. Uh, Effler trying to get away with a mid-court area shot. But Prajongjai is so alert on that one. Setting up there. Eight a point a gap. 14-6 up in favour of the Thailand pair. Over seven forty. Good shot, good shot from Effler. Nice angle, nice steepness, and I think that's one of the things that the coach in the German camp was talking about and alluding to in the uh, mid-game interval. More steep smashes, perhaps some more block shots. Um, so perhaps that's the way forward for the uh, German pair. But it is quite tricky. 15-8 down in the opening game. 
and finding it very hard to find a back line even against the drift. Brilliant from Linda Effler. Another well contested rally. Okay. She's pleased with that one, rightly so. And once again, it's, it's steepness that's actually doing the trick. was a textbook okay. tactics from uh, the two Thailand players. The sm uh, straight smash from uh, Kitty Harakun and then you could see how Prajung Jai was moving in underneath um, her partner and really ready for the straight reply. Textbook doubles. But it means that the smash from uh, Kitty Harakun must be precise and very hard, otherwise they put themselves into trouble. Oh. Yeah, solid play from her take. That was the one that did the damage. This time it was the interception from Kitty Harakun that was doing the trick. If I was uh, the German pair, I would try to put a little bit more emphasis on the uh, return of surf be a little bit try to be a little bit more decisive but it's tough on that good serve from the kitty harakun there see if they could add a little bit more pressure from the return of surf Deflection from the top of the tape. Good play by Hertwig, Isabel Hertwig. Another well contested rally, wasn't it? Lengthy, precise, had yeah. a lot to it. 58 shots. Just a little, as you say, a deviation off the top of the net cord yeah. there for the, in the Germans' favour. Hence the swing and the miss from Rowinda. Not like her at all. Gone. It was spotted by uh, Hertwig. Because if you notice 18, that uh, 
Kitty Harrikan was racing forward in trying to close the, the net down. And I think it was a good choice by Kitty Harrikan, but well spotted by Hattrick. And the clear came, but very unfortunate for the German that one was going out. Stunning, wasn't it, from Rowanda Prajongja? She was really pleased with that. It was such an acute slice. 19, 12. So time running out for the Germans in this opening game. The ties are two points away from securing it now. Flank. That is nice. Good awareness from Prajonga. Setting up game points. Eight in total. Well, but that's a lovely shot. Really nice. Good block shot. Well spotted. Keen return from Linda Effler. She was all over that. Yeah, that's what I like to see. If the uh, German combination can add a little bit more pressure on that service return, that could change things around a little bit, I think. Too passive in my book. Well played. You don't need too much encouraging. The Thai tandem, Kitty Harikon and Prajonga, take the opening game. After 20 minutes of action, 21 points to 13. Even the soft is okay. That's over the front because now we play really good. They also is quite good the net. So okay, then just the deep name and even the half is okay because they, they need to move. Then just the, some chance we need a catch it. Is fine. The, yeah, yeah. So this is okay. So this is why uh, when play the more the smash in the middle, middle, then go to the side because. Well, will there be a turnaround here at all? The Germans are getting stuck in playing some really good badminton. 22 minutes have elapsed and they're enjoying themselves out here. They've had a good uh, Bangkok campaign. Or Love has their time run to an end? Right. And will tell. The ties here, a game to the good. Here we are then, all four players ready to re-engage at the start of game two. One, 
Clash of rackets one. between these two. Oh. oh, yes, one of them's buckled. Look, you could see the break as Linda carried it over to its kit bag. That one won't be coming back, but a fresh one unsheathed. Block shot from Kitty Harakun. Two, one. Still think that the uh, Thailand combination as well should try to be a little bit more aggressive, not just relying on these long rallies and you know trying to outmaneuver their opponents uh, after a long time in these rallies, but also learn to finish the um, the matches quicker by playing really strong aggressive play and uh, scoring points at will at the moment i feel that they still have to work a little bit too hard for for their points uh, if they want to elevate up to the top four in the world if if i may say so yeah we've been saying that for quite a while haven't we i think they've added a little bit more potency particularly to their smashes over the last couple of years. But I, I'm like you. I was looking for just a little bit more in this kind of setting. They've yeah. had a couple of runs of five points in that opening game, which is encouraging for the ties. But you know, Just a like little bit more decisive, a little bit more power, a little bit more pace, um, a little stronger in interception at the net and so on. Just a little bit in every single department. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm watching them because you know we I would like to see them go into the uh, top four in the world because I think they are entertaining and they work hard and uh, it's always good to have different nationalities in as well the look from Linda Effler when this one landed really told its own story I think uh, it was very close. Service over four three. Over for Perfect return of serve there from Hertwig. Very decisive. I think a lot of women's doubles pairs could learn a lot from watching uh, some of the older videos from. Uh, Camilla Rita Yule and Christina Peterson because they were so strong on their return of surf and really upsetting the rhythm of their opponents by being so good on that return. And that's way in. Way in. Silver, five, oh. Well done. Well, the Germans will be keenly buoyed by the fact that they've taken a game in both of their Service previous over. matches and will be hoping they can do again Five. here the same. They've spent most of their badminton life down at the lower echelons of the game in terms of the tournaments that they've targeted because that's all their ranking would allow. But this has been really a great learning experience for them and they can just evolve as a pair more and more, you'd imagine, on the back of this. And the last three weeks or so will really have given them a lot of confidence, you'd imagine. Hopefully they can build their game up as well.
seven, five. Wide. Time is over. Six, seven. Oh. What defensive prowess from? Isabel Hertrick there. So Eight. resistant. Six. So defiant. Look at this. They backed off. They backed off. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I can assure you that Seven. no Eight. one can hear us from up here. So, but I, I still think that the German have kind of been listening to what I'm saying because they are much more aggressive yeah. on the return of serve Great. now. They've done really well, haven't they? They have scored good points on it. Eight, oh. And they're at the slightly faster end as well, aren't they, the Germans? So that'll sort of help, you'd imagine. It can help a little bit, uh, but uh, I don't know. So far, it's, it's a much, much better start to the uh, second game. left good awareness from Isabel Hertrick there but a much better contested opening passages in the for the Germans in this uh, second game they were 11-6 trailing in game one this time just by one point 10-11 ties still in front though Eleven ten. Come on, 
Well, the Germans are pumped. It's a must-win game for them if they're to uh, extend their stay. And the ties won't be complacent. They'll be aware that these guys are tricky customers and would be delighted if they can put them to bed in straight games. Incidentally, that's what's happened over on show court two. Kim and Kong through against Birch and Smith. So they go through as group winners, having won all three matches. 13, 10. I haven't done the, the complete calculations, but uh, by winning the, the opening game here, the two Thailand players, I think they have actually secured their passage to the semi-final tomorrow. But I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I think they have. Service over, 11.30. Over 14, 11. <laughs> a little bit of frustration there from Prajong Jai. Straight away apologising. Not happy with the lift. Yeah, perfect anticipation from Isabel Hertrich. Yeah, it seems that a lot of those mixed double skills have permeated her women's doubles game nicely. Yes, she's very good at the front. Oh, that's really well spotted by Kitty Harakun. This time her trick was anticipating something on her backhand side, but look at that beautiful block straight. Well spotted by Kitty Harakun. Good straight smashes directed at Effler throughout there. Good pressure Three. from Prajongjo. It's a clunky watch, that one. I can't take my eyes off it. It looks rather cumbersome, doesn't it? But it doesn't seem to get in her way. Come on! Just over pressing. Yes, Service over 14, 17. Yeah, a little bit of hesitation at the center of the court between the two Germans, clash of rackets. Good placements from uh, the Thailand pair. Hi. Hi. Wide, yes. Strong leave, good leave from uh, Kitty Halakun. Five point gap now, 
Oh, well done. That's very assured. Dictatorial in that point. Nice to see. And with that excellent play, the ties have engineered match six point. match point opportunities. Finishing with a flurry then. John Kulfan, Kitty Harakun and Ravinda Prajongje. Gracious in victory. Match one by John Kulfan, delighted. And All smiling. The ties. Just one more picture. Pleased with themselves. Coming through in straight games. 21-13, 21-14 against the Germans, Effler and Hertrich. And in all honesty, well, two wins from three group matches will take them through into the semi-finals just uh, following the lead of Kim and Kong who secured the group win overall but these two safely through in 39 minutes and uh, well they'll take some stopping hitting some really good play just in the nick of time so keeping with the women's doubles theme we'll be bringing you Paulian Raheu up against Chow and Lee from Malaysia that's up next Well, here we are in Nonfabri, just outside the